हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दिस चैप्टर न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम सो वट इज ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इट इज़ अ सिस्टम व्हिच कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्री कैनल एंड इट्स एसोसिएटेड ग्लैंड सो ऑलरेडी इन आवर लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज एलिमेंट्री कैनल वंस अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग व्हाट इज एलिमेंट्री कैनल इट इज़ अ लॉन्ग ट्यूब रनिंग फ्रॉम माउथ टू एनास ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बींग इन विच डाइजेशन एंड एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ अ फूड टेक्स प्लेस right now it is what what is its length in an adult normal human being its length is 8 to 9 meters in long okay so now when we eat food what happens it gets broken down into smaller and soluble substances during digestion now the digested food later it is absorbed and utilized by our body and then the undigested and unabsorbed portion of the food is removed from our body in the form of waste material called feces this is a gist of human digestive system so now we will discuss in details about this digestive system now the various organs which are involved as you can see in the slide i have divided it into two points what are the organs which are present in a human digestive system number one is mouth we can say mouth as buccal cavity also esophagus or food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus okay and what are the glands present in this digestive system salivary glands liver and pancreas right now where this salivary gland is located salivary gland they are located in our mouth liver it is what it is a reddish brown gland situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side okay and most interesting thing is that liver it is the largest gland in our body next is pancreas which is a large cream colored gland located just below the stomach the ducts of various glands open into alimentary canal and what do they do they pour the secretion of their digestive juices into the alimentary canal okay now we will discuss in details about each of the part of this alimentary canal or human digestive uh, system in details now number 1 mouth or buccal cavity okay now as we all know the steps of uh, the process of uh, nutrition in animals now the first step is what ingestion remember i have discussed what is ingestion now food it is taken into our body through mouth okay now the digestion of food starts as soon as we put the food in our mouth okay now this mouth it contains what it contains teeth tongue and salivary gland okay now this teeth what is the function of teeth the teeth it cuts the food into small pieces it chews it and it grinds it next the salivary gland it secretes a watery liquid called saliva okay and tongue it helps in mixing the saliva with the food okay so saliva it is a type of digestive juice which helps to digest the starch which is present in the food partially for example suppose if you are eating rice as we all know that rice it is rich in what it is rich in starch okay so when you are eating rice when it is being grinded by the teeth okay so initially what happens the salivary gland it secretes saliva it gets mixed up with that food particle and it gets what partially digested okay then this slightly digested food it is swallowed by the tongue and then it goes down straight into esophagus okay next one is what esophagus okay the common name of esophagus is food pipe okay now what happens is esophagus it connects the mouth or buccal cavity to the stomach okay it runs along where it runs along the neck and chest right now esophagus it carries what the slightly digested food from the mouth to the stomach and it comes down through a wave like movement known as peristalsis i have already discussed about peristalsis in our last class next is the stomach right now what is stomach first the definition the stomach it is a thick walled bag present on the left side of the abdomen now it is what it is a widest part of the alimentary canal okay esophagus or food pipe it brings what the slightly digested food from the mouth into stomach the food then it is further digested in the stomach okay and it remains in the stomach around of 3 hours right now during this time what happens during this time the food it breaks down into still smaller pieces and it makes what a semi solid paste like structure 
okay now this inner lining of the stomach it secretes what it secretes three things three most important things number one is mucus number two is hydrochloric acid number three is digestive juices now what are their functions mucus it protects the inner lining of the stomach from its own secretion of hydrochloric acid as we all know that hydrochloric acid it is a strong acid strong mineral acid okay what is the function of this hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid it kills any bacteria which may enter inside the stomach along with the food okay next the digestive juices okay the digestive juices which are secreted by the stomach it breaks down the protein in the food into simpler substances okay in presence of the acidic medium and what makes the medium acidic the hydrochloric acid which is secreted by the stomach okay now this partially digested food it then goes from the stomach to the next part of the alimentary canal which is what which is small intestine here you can see the structure of the stomach the esophagus it opens into stomach i have already described about the stomach and then the stomach it opens into what small intestine right now small intestine okay small intestine actually it is the site of complete digestion of food okay now small intestine it is a very long tube okay around it is 7.5 meters long okay now though it is a very long tube okay it is called small intestine why it is known as small intestine because it is quite a narrow tube okay and it is arranged in the form of coil in our belly if you see the diagram you will find that it is arranged in a form of coil not like a long running tube okay now what happens see the partially digested food from the stomach it comes into the small intestine okay then what happens the small intestine it receives the secretion of digestive juices from liver pancreas okay and its own vas which is known as what intestinal juice okay now all these digestive juices it has got its own enzyme i have already told you a little bit about enzyme in my earlier class okay now all these digestive juices what happens it carries out the complete digestion of food how come let's discuss in detail now liver secretes a liquid known as what known as bile okay now this bile it is temporarily stored in gall bladder okay gall bladder it is a structure which is present just beneath the liver okay now this bile it plays an important part in the digestion of fat okay actually the bile converts fat into tiny droplets so that their further breakdown becomes easy okay next is pancreas it secretes what it secretes pancreatic juice okay what is the function of pancreatic juice this pancreatic juice it splits the fat partially digested fat by the bile into further simpler molecules known as fatty acid so which two enzyme or which two secretion is acting upon fat number one is bile which is digesting it partially and next is what next is the pancreatic juice which is turning the fat completely into what fatty acids and glycerol okay now as i have already mentioned that salivary gland it secretes saliva and it also digest what digest the starch partially the partially digested starch henceforth it is coming down to the small intestine okay now what happens pancreas it secretes pancreatic juice okay now this pancreatic juice already i have said you that it acts upon fat now this pancreatic juice it also breaks down starch carbohydrate and protein into simpler form okay the walls of the small intestine it secretes a digestive juice known as what intestinal juice okay now this intestinal juice it breaks down the starch completely into simplest sugar called glucose so which two juices are acting upon this uh, uh, carbohydrate to break it completely at first saliva followed by what followed by the intestinal juice right and proteins into amino acid right so in this way what happens our food breaks down completely into very small water soluble substances like what glucose fatty acids and amino acid this is known as what this is known as digested food okay now next most important step is what next most important step is the absorption which is the main factor in this small intestine okay what is absorption i have already said you what is absorption the process in which the digested food passes through the intestinal wall into the blood stream is called what is called 
this absorption okay now what happens the inner surface of the small intestine it has got millions of tiny finger like outgrowths known as what known as villi okay now this presence of villi what happens it gives the inner wall of the small intestine a very large surface area okay so what is the role of the villi very very important point the role of the villi in the small intestine is to increase the surface area for the rapid absorption of digested food okay now each villus the singular form of villi is villus okay it has got network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface okay now this surface of villi it absorbs the digested food materials into blood flowing through them okay then what happens this blood it carries the absorbed food materials to the cells in all parts of the body okay now in the cells this food it is used as energy growth and repair now this process is known as what is known as assimilation after absorption the next process that comes is known as assimilation that means the distribution of this digested or absorbed food particles to all the cells now when i'll teach you the chapter respiration then you will come to know that how come the food it gives us energy okay actually what happens this breakdown of food it takes place in the cell in presence of what in presence of oxygen in presence of oxygen what happens the complete breakdown of food occurs and it yields what it yields energy it yields uh, carbon dioxide as well as water vapor okay now glucose it breaks down in the cells with the help of oxygen as i have already said to form carbon dioxide water and releases energy okay now fatty acids and glycerol it builds the components of cell and formed fats to be stored in the body as food reserves okay and amino acid okay they are required or used for growth and repair of the body right now a part of the food what happens which we eat cannot be digested in our body like roughage okay in class 6 you have read about roughage or dietary fiber right now these undigested food it cannot be absorbed in the small intestine and then what happens this undigested and unabsorbed food it passes from small intestine to the large intestine right so this is a view of what this is a view of small intestine the yellow colored highlighted part this is a view of small intestine okay small intestine actually it has got uh, three parts that is duodenum jejunum and ileum okay now next is what next is the large intestine okay large intestine it is about what 1.5 meter long now quite interesting why it is known as large intestine because it is quite wide tube small intestine it was a narrow tube and this large intestine it is a wide tube okay now this undigested and unabsorbed food from the small intestine what happens it enters into large intestine okay now this large intestine what happens it absorbs most of the water from undigested food material right now due to the removal of water the undigested food what happens it becomes semi solid okay then it is stored in the last part okay of the large intestine which is known as what which is known as rectum okay now what happens when we go to the toilet okay then what happens this undigested semi solid waste it is then passed out from our body through anus in the form of feces this process or the final step of animal nutrition is known as what is known as ejection so this is all about your human digestive system this is your a uh, large intestine as i have already discussed and this is your entire human digestive system okay so in our next class we will continue with this chapter and we will start with the next teeth as well as tongue that means the organs which are present inside our buccal cavity so thank you students